Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with the game on your Windows computer. So first of all, if you have the game on Xbox app or Microsoft Store, in that case, you can also try steps from this video. I made a separate video on this. You can follow the steps from here. Now, the first step for Steam users, uh, restart Steam. So you can go to Steam, close Steam. And once you close it, open Steam once again and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer once. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to rename Konami folder. Now, for this, now before you do this, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So, if you agree, you can rename or delete this folder. Now, for this, if you agree, you can open File Explorer and then go to Documents folder. Now, once you go to documents, find this Konami folder. Now, once you find this folder, you can make a right click. If you want to create a backup, you can copy this folder and you can maybe you can put it on the desktop. Whenever you want, you can put it back. But to rename this folder, just make a right click and then rename and you can rename it Konami.old and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even delete this folder. And then you can launch the game and then check. But you will lose all the game progress. Now the next step is to, you can go to this location and delete the Konami folder. Again, you will lose all the game progress. So if you agree, you can open this PC, C drive. Now open program data folder. Now if you don't see program data over here, on the top, click on view, select show, and then put a check on hidden items. And then you should be able to see program data, open this folder. Again, find uh, Konami folder over here, make a right click and delete this folder. Now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you're using HOTAs, pedals, wheels, any external devices connected, disconnected, any kind of USB adapter or dongle connected, disconnected. If you have joystick or extra controller connected to the computer, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try, try to launch the game on single monitor. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game and then go to properties and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game. And then also close or you can disable overlay in Discord. So if, you, if, you are, if you're using Discord, you can go to Discord settings and turn off the overlay. If you're using GeForce Experience, you can go to settings of GeForce Experience and turn off in-game overlay. So close or simply you can close all the overclocking application and then check. Overlay application and then check. Also close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any kind of other overclocking application, you can close it and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Close all the third party applications. So if you have multiple applications running on the computer, close it. You can make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager. If you have any services running over here, which you find suspicious, you can just make a right click and then you can click on end task. So close all the third party services and application, including your browsers and then check. Next step is to close OneDrive or Google Drive. So if you have OneDrive or Google Drive open, close it and then launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now, for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select Manage, now click on Browse Local Files. It will take you to the game installation folder. And over here, you will see eFootball folder. Open this folder, open Binaries folder, Win64, and then make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click on the game exe, go to properties, go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working this time, go to properties, put a check over here, now go to this tab, then put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, this time you can select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Now, still not working, so when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, and then hit apply, click on OK. Now, go back and then open this settings folder. 
now once you open this settings file now over here you can select full screen and then click on ok now open eFootball once you click on ok open eFootball binaries win64 make a right click on eFootball select properties and then go to the second tab click on change high dpi settings put a check on on this use this settings to fix scaling problems put a check over here put a check on override high dpi scaling behavior select application over here click on ok click on apply click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to now if you're using you can even try the window mode in settings if that does not work in settings file open the settings file and then you can select the window mode and then check now if you're using any third party application uh, sorry antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case you can open windows settings go to privacy and security in windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder open eFootball binaries win64 select this exe file click on open once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website but when you go to amd website first of all uninstall the current right current driver from your computer so once you uninstall the current graphic card driver for amd now restart your computer and then you can go to this website and install the latest version now for nvidia users i'll show you so go to nvidia website select product category for me it's geforce now select the right product series so for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and then you will see the latest driver so right now it's 561.09 and then click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings click on browse go to the game installation folder so open the game folder open eFootball binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you have to install this x86 and x64 file so download x86 and then run the cxe file in my case it is already installed so if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install it's already installed it's telling me to restart my computer so please ignore this now download this x64 file and then run this cxe file as well Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. I have just installed these files. So now once installed, you will see a restart option like this.
So make sure that you restart. You can be restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer, then find the latest BIOS and update the latest BIOS. In case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, do not unplug the power cable and your system will restart during the BIOS update. And after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage. Now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder. And then delete the game folder. Restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.